Are you tired of wasting your hard-earned money on shitty kitchen gadgets that don't work? Vivian calls the BS. With Vivian Tries, you just sit back and enjoy, just like being in your kitchen with a good old friend. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries Halloween edition. Do you love this costume? It's literally a onesie. Ta-da! I'm Contra. I'm Contracula. I'm Contracula. And I will suck your blood. And I might sound like Contracula through the whole video. So today we have another copper product. I told you we'd have a marathon. Today we have Red Copper Square. We have tried the Red Copper Square Dance. I will link that video down below so that you can go check that out. This is a five piece. It is the 10 inch square pan. We're gonna use it in a really unique way. At least I think so. We're gonna make a pizza cake. So stay tuned. You don't wanna miss this video because it's gonna be good, boys and girls. Count Dracula says it's going to be good. I don't even know, that's so silly. I'm gonna definitely talk like that for the rest of the video though because it sounds fun. You are my subscribers forever, and you love all of my videos. I just hypnotized you with my Dracula power. Let's get to the video. You guys already know that I love me some uh, Kathy Mitchell. You guys know I love me some red copper stuff. I'm already biased. I already love it. Let's make a pizza cake for Count Dracula. What do we get? We get the little tray at the bottom. Oh, we get a picture of Kathy. Kathy, will you sign my book? My husband just came downstairs. This is Count Dracula! <laughs> Count Dracula! I will bite you in your face! <laughs> Jedi! I am Count Dracula, Jedi! Count Dracula! Give me a kiss. He ran off. <laughs> Here's the little tray that you can put in there, I guess if you're putting things in the oven. We won't be using this for that purpose today. Okay. Count Dracula's busy! Count Dracula! My husband wants to come in the kitchen when I'm Count Dracula. Don't laugh at me! <laughs> Jedi, I am Count Dracula! <laughs> Jedi, this is gonna be a 45 minute video because I gotta act out like Count Dracula. Look at that, wow, this is really a big pan. Trash. Ooh, we got a basket if you wanna deep fry some stuff. Count Dracula doesn't like deep fry stuff. Yes, you do. yes, yes I do. That's a lie. So that's one, two, three pieces. Oh, and the lid is full. This said five pieces. Am I miscounting? Dracula knows how to count. What's that Sesame Street? Wasn't there a Dracula on Sesame Street? It says like one, two, three. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Kathy, this doesn't count. They're counting the book as a piece. That's not a set, fool. I'm not gonna need this today, so I'm just gonna put it back here. I am gonna use this to cut the pizza crust so that it fits right in there. So first, I'm gonna wash everything. Count Dracula hates dishes. Count Dracula. I like saying Count Dracula. <laughs> it's pretty good. What are we gonna need? I have here cheese, I have pizza sauce, and then we have some pepperoni. We're gonna just stack layers and make a cake. Mm -mm -mm. Cause you know, Count Dracula loves pizza. <laughs> okay, that's annoying. I can't help Count Dracula just wants to come out. This busted open, you know that these guys busted open when I was prepping. So I put it in a baggie hoping that it would be okay. <laughs> this is not a cooking show, remember. People take this so seriously. She doesn't know how to cook. Get the hell out of here. Oh my God, what's going on? I have to put food in it, right? To show you guys what the hell's happening. I can't give you my opinion if I'm not using food. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Basura. Okay, Count Dracula is very scared of these. Oh, ha ha. I'm going to roll this out, flatten that out. All right, there's one. Let's open another one so that Jesus. We're gonna work with what we have. Perfect. So we're gonna put these in the oven for five minutes in the oven they go. This extra dough we're gonna use to do the edges of our cake. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on the counter. Just like the guys at the pizza store. I need a rolling pin. Wow, magic. Okay, I think we can cut at least a piece out of that. 
So here's our first pizza crust. What a freaking mess. We're gonna now use the tray to cut out the exact shape that we need, like so. Okay. I'm just gonna cut that guy in half. So we're gonna put these back into the oven for three minutes. While that cooks, we're going to drape this like this. It's not perfect, it's not supposed to be, guys. Make sure it's like falling over there like that and then stretch it down. So we're gonna coat just all the way around. Let's drape this starting here. Okay, pinch this together. So far, that's what we have. We got them, folks. Okay, we're just gonna cut like that piece right there. Now we're gonna pinch the corners, then kind of pull that down a little bit. We've created magic. It's not magic, but it's a pizza cake. It's just as good. We got it. That's my masterpiece. Whoa! We just have one more pizza crust in the oven. While that one cooks, it should only be about five more minutes. We're gonna go ahead and start layering. Put that guy in first. Perfect. You see how now the dough will glue itself to this guy? Layer number one. Okay, now we're gonna do the sauce. Pizza sauce. Okay, this little spin is not gonna be enough. We want a lot of pizza sauce. Cheese. Cheese. Now we're gonna do some pepperoni because pepperoni is the best. And then we'll put another layer on. Okay, that's good. Now we'll do this layer there. Okay, pizza sauce. I should have cut all of them based on the tray, but I thought me eyeballing it was close enough. <laughs> all right, some more cheese, more pepperoni, done, done. Okay, another layer. I'm gonna do this one like this, since they're a little short. All right, more sauce. I hope this turns out cute. Kind of looks like a mess right now. We'll find out soon enough. Cheese, oh, I need more cheese. More pepperoni. Now I need my top layer, and then we're gonna seal it off, put it in the oven for 30 more minutes. Hey, why should I let these go to waste, right? But I stuff the sides with this. Contragula, so smart. Let me put a little bit of sauce there on the sides. So our last layer is here. I am gonna cut it to the right size. Just because it's a top layer, we need it to be cute. Just like that. This piece we're gonna use in a second. This is the top layer. Hey, that's not bad, actually. Let's stuff it right there. So our last layer, let's put the entire pizza sauce. Okay, we need more cheese, more pizza. All right, now we're gonna do our pepperoni on top. Oh no, I ran out of pepperoni. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. What we're gonna do is actually grab these pieces and we're gonna tuck them like that over our pie. Not a pie, I know a pizza pie, but this is a pizza cake. Ta-da! Look, guys, it's gonna be a giant pizza cake. Now in the oven for 30 minutes. And we're gonna take it out, cross your fingers, because I have no idea what the hell is gonna come out of my oven in 30 minutes. Contracula says the pizza's ready. Let's get it. Wait, I need my gloves. It weighs like 4,000 pounds. My pizza! It's a giant pizza cake. Look at it, guys. Ta-da! Contracula made a pizza cake. We're gonna try to transfer this to the tray. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. Remember, our handy little red copper pan should be non-stick. How am I gonna do this? Maybe I'll grab a one of these and like pop it out of here and then like, you know what I'm saying? I did not say any words. I just made gestures, but I hope y'all understand my language. Ooh, it's gonna come right out of here. It better, it's red copper, non-stick, do not break. We went through too much trouble for you to break in a thousand pieces, okay? I don't know how I'm gonna get it out of there, guys. I have a dilemma. This part I did not plan. That's pretty flexible. Let's see. I got two crazy tools here, but, okay, I don't think that's a good idea. That's too flimsy of a spatula. Ooh, this one has a metal hand. Ooh, it's working. Look. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look. Non-stick. Oh my God. My pizza cake is freaking unbelievable. Look at that. And it fit on this little tray perfectly, didn't it? Contracula made a pizza cake. It's a beautiful thing. It's not the prettiest thing. Contracula. 
made a pizza cake. So proud of myself. Are you guys proud of me? I'm proud of me. My hair is flopping all over the place now. Come Dracula is falling apart. I'm gonna give this guy five Gideon head. Come on now, you gotta be impressed with that pizza cake. That is deep dish, faux show, because of my beautiful red copper pan. No oil, no nothing. Kathy Mitchell has another hit. The only complaint that I have is it is a four piece set, not a five piece. Just my opinion. You guys tell me what you think because this little 12 page booklet to me is not considered part of the set. That booklet comes in every box. All right, you guys, that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big old thumbs up for me. All right, now question of the day has to do with pizza and cake. Tell me, which one do you prefer? An ice cream cake or would you prefer a pizza cake like my beautiful creation? If you are new to my channel, subscribe. I am putting videos out like this every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share with your family and your friends. That's all that I have for you today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I know some of you guys are gonna ask me what it looks like when I cut it. So let's go ahead and cut it so you guys can see. I should've got a bigger knife, but that's all right. Let's just grab it like that, right? <gasps> Pizza good. Nice. Thanks for watching. I'm Count Dracula.